today I'll be talking with uh, Rob Streche of Enterprise Strategy Group uh, about Amazon Web Services uh, recent uh, customer and partner conference. For more information on the AWS reInvent show, please click the link above or in the description below. Describe for us the uh, the thread uh, that ran through many of the uh, sig significant uh, announcements uh, at reInvent. I think uh, Adam set it up in his keynote, uh, you know, first time as the CEO to really start looking at it as being more solutions versus services. And I think they tried to tie that thread all the way through the infrastructure and the solutions that they were talking about, uh, such as bringing, you know, ML AI capabilities to QuickSight and QuickSight Q, which is a being able to use uh, questions to ask of BI data, which is more in his wheelhouse uh, from his time at Tableau, but was, a, you know, I think, again, trying to weave that through. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, well, can you touch upon uh, the announcements uh, that were, uh, you know, attached to, uh, to the thread you just described? Sure. And I think that, you know, part of the a really large solution that AWS seems to be aiming for is how to help customers, you know, combat uh, environmental change and sustainability in particular. So that ESG, uh, environmental social governance type string and what they talked about, for instance, was Graviton 3, their new ARM processor they're putting out that's lower power, higher performance, that's going to power a number of instances and services into the future. They then tied that into some of the storage announcements by actually furthering uh, yet another file system with the FSX uh, OpenZFS to give more choice. So I think they're, they're playing a little bit both sides of things with more services underneath the hood to then power on top of the solutions that they're going to provide out that are like another file system out there. Uh, they also had a number of ones around 5G uh, and being able to have five, a private 5G uh, at your edge location or in on an outpost, AWS outpost in your own data center. So I think they're trying to pull these different services together and had a number of announcements that were very interesting on their own as kind of those little Legos you know, under the hood, but then get put together into these bigger services that they're announcing, like the 5G, private 5G for enterprise. Yeah, I, I would think that for a cloud provider, it is all about trying to connect as many services as you can together, uh, because that's going to obviously up the uh, uh, up the price, you know, from your, for your customers. I know I was particularly interested in the private 5G uh, announcement. Uh, do you think that's going to um, be a competitive uh, a competitive threat to like Verizon? I know AWS already um, uh, works with Verizon and Verizon provides their private 5G on top of Outpost. I mean, could a customer just swap out AWS's private 5G or, or not? I, I think they're looking for private 5G uh, and I think it depends if you're going to manage it yourself using the AWS tool set. If you have that level of expertise in your environment, uh, it's probably more complex than setting up a Wi-Fi network, which is very easy to set up. And it does the same similar things by being in a private spectrum. I, I think that it's, you know, we'll see if it really becomes competitive. I think it's more competitive with IT shops rolling their own Wi-Fi especially in situations where Wi-Fi is, you know, doesn't have the range, doesn't have the capabilities or the, uh, the actual, I guess you could say, uh, muscle behind it to go the distance, like out, outdoors. I could see it for uh, construction, uh, manufacturing, sites where maybe Wi-Fi, there's other signal interference and things of that nature. I don't think it really can competes against uh, the Verizons or even they had Dish uh, on stage talking about how they're rolling their own uh, right. throughout uh, on top of outposts and together. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know that it becomes competitive. I think it does 
kind of tie in with the announcement of WAN, uh, AWS Cloud WAN service as well, and ties together kind of some of those networking things that are uh, seen as difficult and where expertise may be lacking at the enterprise level.